Today we are going to replace a 1500 watt photovoltaic system with a 5500 watt one, which is really, really awesome. We are going to remove the old panels, we are going to install new ones, we are going to drill some holes, run the cables, connect everything to the day inverter and Felicity battery. We are going to install a totalizing meter, which in Portugal is necessary for the legislation, and also add an automatic system, which is an ATS that when the power goes out it turns on automatically. Olha só, se a luz vai abaixo, não vai. <laughs> não vai, não vai abaixo, olha aí. Olha aí. Last time I was the one messing with the inverter and the battery, but this time I hired a team. So everything that you are going to see is done by Solar Technica. If you live in Portugal, I will leave a link down below. And I met them not only because they're working with Day and Felicity for years, but also because I had a really difficult and unusual challenge, which is to do with the ATS and having more than one solar system and making a backup to switch on automatically and having other systems on the grid it's dangerous so this was the challenge and let's go for it as soon as they arrived they put on their safety gear climbed up to the roof which according to them it's an easy roof i also think so more or less but i only walk on this one right over here so they are used to working on higher harder to reach places and with the temperatures and wind conditions different from what i've got right over here here we just need to climb a ladder and we are good to go but i really enjoyed seeing them using all the safety ropes and everything was really really top they started by removing the panels that i had on the roof i had six panels of 285 watts each installed back in 2019 so you remember my first installation was great and these panels could have easily lasted another 20 years or so without having to worry but what be the fun of it now these panels aren't living for good i will give them a second life later with some new projects which i will be sharing with you now besides the panel this system had three micro inverters of 600 watts each which were also removed because they're no longer needed here we will use the six kilowatt day inverter and the 15 kilowatt hour felicity battery now next to them were two hyundai panels of 480 watts which were also removed they were connected to a one kilowatt could be inverter and since the new panels are massive compared to these the mounting rails needed adjustment they had to remove the base which is fixed on the beams under the roof to reposition the rails and add extra smaller rails at the end to fit each of the new panels next was cable routing in my old installation since i had micro inverters i could just plug into the ac socket on the roof but with a central inverter the cables have to run down to it so everything was planned a hole was drilled on the garage cables pulled under the tiles and where the cables crossed from one roof section to the other a protective tube was installed inside the garage they installed two conduits one for the panel cables which go underneath and another for the wiring from the breaker box to the inverter and now it was time to bring up the ico panel 610 watts each they are huge 2.25 meters long but they are top panels with great efficiency less loss with high heat which is what we've got here on my region and great shading tolerance after placing the nine panels on the roof they installed three on one side where the hyundai were just below to my solar water heater and six on the main roof so a total of nine panels with 5500 watts of power they were split into strings four panels in one string and five panels on the other string the four panels on one of the strings are the ones that get shaded earlier in the evening so only one string is affected while the other five stay fully productive without any shadows whatsoever then came the longest part which is the wiring the battery and the inverter were already here but solar technica made several changes both in the main breaker panel and and also in the garage where the inverter is some for aesthetics just they look much cleaner now and others to make the ATS or the automatic transfer switch work the ATS kicks in when there's a blackout switching power instantaneously okay just 
está desligado aí a cena. Espetáculo. Ok, não desligou, não desligou, está tudo ligado. Vamos ver aqui. Então, está off-grid, mas tudo, tudo a bombar. Espetáculo. Como se a eletricidade voltasse, é? Tal. E ele dispara aqui automaticamente. They also installed a totalizing meter because where we live in Portugal now I'm exceeding 4 kilowatts of power and actually I'm with a total of 10 kilowatts at this moment and this is mostly for reporting production. It's almost statistical but it's the legislation that we have. It's expensive yes but necessary. Now the finishing work around the inverter was amazing. The conduits carrying the solar cables under the roof were just great. The main conduit on the wall hiding the cables from the sub panel to the inverter. Everything was real top. Even small details to hide some cables were spectacular. Now the biggest challenge here was this the ATS which is the thing that makes when we have a blackout to transfer everything to be off grid and when we have just one inverter like I do have here the day with the Felicity battery it's not difficult to implement one of these but the issue is that I had four different PV systems two on the roof and two here on my pergola and replacing two on the roof by the day inverter but still maintaining the two here on my pergola the issue is that if the transfer switch automatically transfers from on grid to off grid and if we have two other inverters working if the power that they produce is not superior to the house consumption that's all fine but if they produce more when we don't have grid there isn't anywhere that they can push the electricity surplus out and that might be dangerous so my challenge was to find someone that could do the changes necessary to have the automatic switch transfer to work with the day and felicity as in case of a blackout but to be able to disconnect completely my other two grid inverters so that when there's a blackout everything is on with the exception of those inverters and when the power comes on again everything goes back to normal those inverters will turn on automatically we will go back with the grid connection and everything works great. As soon as possible I will share some more details on the ATS working which is something really simple but something really complex at the same time because we have to think about several scenarios. Today I just wanted to share with you this small adventure. Another adventure that started with the ATS but then along the process I decided to implement more solar panels on my rooftop so that I could take advantage of a 6 kilowatt inverter from day which was not being fully used because I was only using the AC coupling that I did share here on the channel I will leave the link down below so it was gathering information from all the other inverters on the grid and it was collecting energy to put on the battery and then using the energy during the night to feed into the house so I so I was just missing six kilowatts of power on that inverter and right now I'm taking full advantage of it. Hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.